The naval action off of Rental Island was a truly decisive conflict. Yamato and Task Force 6 completely crushed the Allied forces for the loss of one Fabuki-class destroyer. At the end of the day, a total of 63,000 tons of Allied shipping was sent down to the bottom, including the American aircraft carrier Enterprise. This was truly a great victory for our forces. Now, Task Force 6 sails north to bombard American positions on Guadalcanal before heading back to Rabol for rearming. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea as the Imperial Japanese Navy. In the previous episode, we engaged the Allied Carrier Group down here off of Rental Island with Task Force 6, and we decisively crushed them. We sank every single ship, and it resulted in 63,000 tons of Allied shipping sent down to the bottom. The carrier we ended up sinking was also USS Enterprise. So that leaves one other carrier, USS Hornet, in the area that we have to deal with. Task Force 6 is now going to sail north towards Guadalcanal, and we are going to bombard it with what little ammo we have before heading back to Rabal to rearm. We also have this pesky little destroyer group here. I have rediverted re our vows to engage. Task Force 17 with Haruna is heading up here towards Guadalcanal as well, and we want Task Force 16 to head up towards Guadalcanal as well. Uh, in the meantime, this convoy is RTBing, and this convoy is heading to Guadalcanal to unload more troops. And that is really it. Uh, the convoy, or the task force sinking, gave us around 102 command points, so we have 190 now. And I think that means we are going to purchase ourselves our own aircraft carrier. So, let's go ahead and get started. I originally wanted to purchase Shokaku and Zuikaku. However, I think I will just get one for now. So we want to filter by Japanese shipping and go down to Shokaku. And I guess we will just go ahead and get Sh Shokaku. That is going to be 90 points out flat. And then we are going to get Akasuki class destroyers. These do have the dual purpose guns. If I am remembering correctly, no, no, no. Akazuki. Yeah, this is it. Okay, dual purpose guns here. That's what I want. And I want probably four of these. Two, three, four. Okay, this is going to cost us 130 points now. I, I think this will be okay. Um, what I also want to do is get Chikuma. Yeah, Chikuma, we have her somewhere. Yeah, Chikuma here. I'm going to have her operate with the Carrier Task Force, because with all of her float planes, uh, that'll be nice to have. And apparently this was her role in real life. And I need to recreate this, so that's unfortunate. I should have thought about that. Okay, so we're going to just get four of these. Okay, four, and then, of course, our Carrier Shokaku. So when it costs 130 points, we want them in a circular formation. Okay, circular, and number two is going to be in the center, so we're going to swap them. All right, perfect, done. And now the question is, where do I want to deploy this carrier group? At first, I was originally thinking deploying it north of Guadalcanal, but I think having it here, kind of where the American group was, will give us a lot of... Uh, We'll cover a lot of ground, so we're going to be kind of aggressive with our carrier, for better or for worse. I am going to dispatch Chikuma now. We are going to release the ship. Oh, no, not release it. We're going to split. Oh, man. I haven't played <laughs> in a couple of days. I'm already, already rusty. And we're going to have them rendezvous up here in the Solomon Sea. Okay. Well, that is that. We're down to 60 points, so 30 more points, and I will be able to get my second carrier. We should be able to rack that up, hopefully in this episode, because we do have another American uh, task force with a bunch of merchant ships heading up towards Guadalcanal that we are going to have to take care of. We spotted that a few, maybe a couple of episodes back now, uh, so we're going to start scouting for that. Okay, our valves are in a pretty good position here. Let's go to the tactical view and try to sink ourselves a destroyer. There they all are. There's three of them. What do we got? Okay, we don't have them identified on the map. We obviously want to go for the 
uh, most modern destroyer in the in the flotilla here. Okay, it looks like nothing too exciting. Okay, we will go for the one in the rear then. Makes things rather easy. What's our current altitude? A thousand meters, perfect. Get some time compression going. We'll just try to sink them all with our valves here. I am excited to have a carrier group in the area. Okay, let's order the attack and attack. I guess also V allows uh, you to issue the attack order rather quickly. Uh, that would be a way to streamline my orders a little bit more. I need to get in the habit of using the V key here. Anyway, valves are closing in on these destroyers. One thing I've also been contemplating is uh, committing some of our troops to New Guinea and uh, causing trouble there. I'm really not sure how the game handles taking over airfields. Okay, bombs away. One Val is actually down. Let's see what we get. Okay, multiple hits. Two Val shot down. Wow, my goodness. Okay, I need to issue orders to get these guys to fly away. Get out of here. I have at least two of uh, two of them survive. That looks like pretty critical damage on the enemy destroyer there. Looks like her forward turrets are jammed. We'll see if she ends up going down. Okay, two valves are going to get out of here, hopefully. And it looks like she's taking on a lot of water to the bow. That may be it for her. Well, here we have it. We just got the report. She is going down. That's one destroyer sunk for the loss of two enemy aircraft. We are going to have these Vals RTB and send more here to try to take out these destroyers. The Americans do have a lot of destroyers, so it's going to take a while to uh, get through all of them. But, oh, there's one less here. Okay, let's go ahead and leave combat. We can leave in 30 some seconds. All right, here we go. Another interesting encounter. I-14 has made contact with the two destroyers. Let's begin. Start. Hopefully we are in a good attack position. I am not seeing the enemy destroyers just panning around here, which is quite surprising. Upscope. Let's get some time compression going. Where are they? I'm guessing this has been changed. Uh, before, when you were in sub-encounters, you would always start in a near-perfect uh, position. It looks like that is not the case now, but uh, this is the, the other end of the spectrum a little bit here. Just not anywhere close to them. Let's see, are we able... Yeah, we can leave in zero seconds. Okay. Uh, we are going to do that. Oh, my... Can I get out of this? Damn it. <laughs> we made contact with them right as it, uh, right as they uh, entered our view. Well, that's okay. We're going to send our valves down here anyway. They are more efficient at taking out those sort of targets. Okay, we have another encounter here with our valves and the enemy destroyers. Let's begin and try to sink another one. That first bombing run went rather well. Um, let's go for number two in line here, as I believe she does have dual purpose guns. And number two and V to attack. Let's go get her, boys. A little bit of time compression here. I'll kick us out soon. Yeah, there we go. So she is firing. Yeah, it does not look like the lead destroyer has those dual purpose guns. So this is the one we definitely want to prioritize. Take her out and then the other one will be extremely easy pickings. Hopefully we don't lose as many valves this time. Last time the American AAA really ripped us up. Okay, valves are diving down. Let's go. And bombs away. Oh my. There we go. Two hits there. Looks like a pretty decent hit. We will see if that's enough to inflict serious damage on her. Let's get our valves to turn this way now. There we go. Get out of here, guys. Didn't lose one. 
Well, I'm going to stick around and see if uh, this warship's going to end up going down. It looks like her rear turrets are out of commission for the time being. And it looks like fires have broken out throughout the ship. So maybe one of our larger bombs did hit her. And all of our valves are getting out unscathed. Perfect. Well, it looks like this destroyer was able to get her damage under control, so we are going to leave combat and try to strike her with another flight of owls. I'm sure one more flight will be able to finish her off. You can see all that charring here. She did have quite a lot of fires break out. It was quite surprising. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and leave combat here. And yeah, moderate damage, minor flooding. That is fine. And if we look... Our valves have one 250 kilogram bomb and a 260s, so we're going to have them RTB. I kind of surprised I forgot uh, what they what they were carrying. Also, we can see Shokaku here. What her aircraft complement is? We have 24 zeros, 24 valves, and 24 kates. So we will be able to use kates with uh, those torpedoes right there. That is going to be quite cool indeed. And then, yeah, 24 valves. The the problem with uh, carriers, though, unlike land bases, their aircraft do um, not replenish automatically. So they can be whittled down, which will be quite cool, actually, uh, to see. Don't think our zeros, yeah, no drop tanks or anything like that. Okay, well, that I just wanted to show that off as well. I am eager to use our Kates, so that is for sure. Here's something interesting. It looks like we have another three destroyers spotted in the area, not just the one we had previously. So there are two groups of three destroyers. Um, not a huge threat, but good to know that they are way out here. We are going to have Task Force 6 continue to move in and bombard the American troop positions here. And I want these guys to merge. There we go. And we are going to play pretty aggressively here. Yeah, that one seems... Okay, so troops here. So they have a level 3 airfield and a level 4 port here at Port Moresby. Looks like Maline Bay has a level 1 port and a level 1 airfield. Well, I think the level 4 port and level 3 airfield would be quite nice to have. Not... But it probably be, probably would be more feasible. Oh, man, I don't actually know. I have been thinking about invading New Guinea. I do think this is something I want to do. And I, I hope you can actually take this level 3 airfield without it, you know, being destroyed. So I don't have to commit more supply to it. Not sure, though. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, well, we shall see. Malign Bay will probably be easier to take. And it will also help us... Uh, really cut them off as New Guinea's really or Port Moresby's really out of the way uh, for our objectives anyway anyway just something I've been thinking about not sure which one I'll go for yet so I'll have to give it a little bit more thought well this is not good Chikuma is right near this American sub probably about to get torpedoed let's begin first off let's rack up speed Okay, Chikuma, start making evasive maneuvers and keep your eyes peeled for any enemy torpedoes. Let's go into a slight. There are the enemy torpedoes in the water. I already see them. Oh, boy. This is not good. This is why you do not send uh, relatively large warships out all by themselves. There's a little, little tip for you. As a fat spread rudder amidships. Okay, it looks like we were able to evade them. I think we're going to be okay. Well, Chikuma doesn't really have any way of uh, hit, striking back at uh, this enemy sub. I suppose we could launch torpedoes uh, in her general direction, but that's really just a waste. I think we're going to get out of here just fine. Unfortunately, we don't have any destroyers here to really uh, hunt this sub down, so we're going to make sure those torpedoes miss. Yeah, they're going to go right on past. And Chikuma should be able to sail out of the area. We can retreat in 180 seconds. Let's look for that sub. I just kind of want to see it. Oh, here, you can hear the torpedoes there. They're somewhere there. You can kind of see her 
in the sun. I kind of saw her earlier. Yeah, kind of like right there, I think. Oh, well. Not going to worry about it. We are now steaming at a nice 35 knots. I do want to get rid of that sub, especially when our carrier is heading right down here. How embarrassing would that be uh, to get a carrier and just get it uh, torpedoed in the first episode of us having it? That'd be, that'd be something. Alrighty, our valves are striking the enemy destroyers once again. We're going to hit the one we've already damaged. That makes the most sense. And hopefully we can bag ourselves another destroyer. Uh, before the end of the day. Okay, order them to add, actually don't attack, don't attack. Let's get in a little better of a spot here. Altitude is 880 meters, climb back up. Okay. We're going to have these valves swing around like that. There we go, that's looking good. That's looking good. Okay, now, now you can attack. Looks like she is lagging behind. Jeez, that this uh this skybox really impresses me. I do like that. All right, closing in on our targets. Those bombs strapped right underneath us. I'm sure, we're going to start taking AAA fire here any second now. Wow. Okay, there we go. There we have it. Yep. This main gun swinging around. It looks like uh mount number three here is out of action. It's out of commission. We took one of those out in our previous engagement. It would be cool if you could actually take out some of the light anti-aircraft guns as well. That would be interesting for sure. Okay, they are coming in. Bombs away. Looking Looks like a pretty good drop. Okay, three direct hits. Let's make sure our valves are heading the correct way. Yep, just get out of here. Three direct hits. I think that'll be enough to finish her. It looks like one Val has been shot down, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a pretty heavy list to port now. And a pretty large fire has broken out amidships. I think it's just going to take a couple of minutes for her to sink. But there we go. On sinking. Add that, and is there a third one here? I wonder if it will... Um update in this menu I'm not sure because that has to be it nothing else really matches that profile yeah wrong turrets here yeah it's got to be that yeah for sure yep it looks like it hasn't updated maybe it'll update uh, once we leave the battle oh wow secondary is going off leave confirm there we go 1,500 tons, three command points gained. Perfect, RTB. And it looks like these valves are RTBing as well. Chikuma, you're just gonna have to run the gauntlet. Hopefully you get past that enemy sub again. We're up to 67 command points. Uh, I should be able to get Zuikaku relatively soon. Task Force 6 is pretty close to Guadalcanal. I'm going to order them to bombard it. I wonder if you can even bombard positions Okay, must be within 24 kilometers of an enemy location to bombard it. Well, I guess we'll head up here and bombard it. I mean, what's the point? There's, they don't have anything built here. There's just troops and supply, but whatever. I'll just send them up there, and we are going to bring this fleet back towards Guadalcanal. Make sure our subs are still heading kind of where I want them. I want them to patrol right off the New Hebrides. This task force is moving here. Just checking up on everybody. All right, we're looking good. We're going to send Task Force 6 up here just to bombard their troops and supply, whatever's up here. A lot of people have asked why I haven't uh, done anything about this is really just because they haven't built anything. There's nothing worth my time here, but I do wanna, there we go, just bombard something. <laughs> can, we, can we keep doing it? This Task Force has almost no ammo. Yeah, there we go. Out of ammunition to do so. All right, let's head back to Rabal and rearm. Yeah, after that engagement, that task force just did not have much. Chikuma and Cardiff 5 are going to group up right here. I'm probably going to have them head south into the Coral Sea. Okay, and merge groups. Ok, 
Okay. And yeah, I'm going to... Let's have them head south. I think that's a pretty good idea into the Coral Sea. Maybe something like that. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good place for them. You know, when I was talking about hitting some of these uh, troop convoys, leaving the New Hebrides, look what we have. Two destroyers. Three, how many merchants? Six merchants, okay. Wow, they are not sending cruisers this time. Again, that's probably because they're so low on them. Oh, perfect. Hmm, now here's the question. I probably would be better off actually attacking the destroyers this time. Hitting the destroyers, taking them out, begin working on a solution on this guy here. Yeah, I-41 is going to hit the destroyers. And then uh, together, I-41 and the other submarine in the area are going to try to pick apart the rest of the merchant ships. Okay, we are going to begin working on that solution. Let's raise our periscope, please. Up scope. We will identify the target. What is the current sea state as well? Sea state five, so not great, not terrible. Okay. Where are they? There she is. Are the two destroyers the same? I can't tell. Okay, recognition manual, F6. Okay, let's go through here. Okay, double stacker, stacks are pretty close together. It has double turrets, pretty thick ones. Yep, Porter class destroyer. Identify there are eight of them in the class. We have already sunk two of them. Is this another Porter? No, it is not. What is it? What are you? If not a fair get. Oh, no. And I'm no. Vincent class. Yeah, that looks like her right there. Let's go ahead and target and identify just for fun. Solutions at 68%, kind of fluctuating around there. We turn on our radar, go to radar depth. It's like that starts to increase. Let's get some time compression going and we are going to let the target close in. Going to fire two torpedoes at her. Uh, one degree spread. Well, solution is actually not great yet. We turn on radar. It's kind of, you should definitely have penalties for doing this, but I do want to kind of ensure hits here. AD some percent. 88. Continue to wait to strike. And yeah, that solution is getting pretty darn good at this point. We are awfully close though, 1,000 meters away. Let's reduce speed down to two knots. We do not want them shit to hear us. Which it looks like that's exactly what they've done. Okay, come right at me then, pal. Okay. Two degree spread, fire. Okay, two torpedoes away. All right, next up, this Benson. One torpedo, one torpedo, zero degree spread, manual. Fire, we're going to fire right at this Benson here. Down the throat, fire. And, okay, now we need to issue orders, down scope, emergency dive. Start making eight knots, good, good, good. Okay, come on, give me at least a hit, just a hit. Looks like she's actually doing evasive maneuvers for these torpedoes. We may get a chance with one of them. Ah, oh, gonna run right alongside her, unfortunately. Looks like our manual fired torpedo may have a chance. Oh, come on. Shit. <laughs> okay. Let's turn around. Or I-41. Try to get out of here, buddy. 
Okay, hard to starboard. We're gonna work on evasion here down to 120 meters. They are rolling depth charges. Not surprising. Rotor midships. Okay, explosions. Jeez, look at that pattern. I feel like the AI just drops an obscene amount of depth charges on us. They, they definitely are very good at ASW. They know pretty much exactly where you are, which is quite unfortunate. Let's try to swing around and evade that guy. Periscope depth. We're going to, we're going to fight. Hey, this one's rolling now too. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, swing around. Try to get out of the way of these. Yeah, I guess the, the problem with the AI and ASW so they just know with pen oh shit, we're gonna eat that. Oh no, it just continued to drop. Perfect. Okay, torpedoes, we are going to fire a spread of three. Are we reloading? Reloads are in a hundred seconds. Three degree, four degree spread, fire, there. Too deep, too deep, okay. Gotta get a little closer. Reduce speed. Got two torpedoes. Okay, the manual fire didn't work. They uh, they just launched. Said I-14 firing two torpedoes. I hope those are actually good. Okay, drop back down. Down to 130 meters, please. That was, what a whiff that probably was there. And torpedoes are swinging around to hit the porter by the looks of it. And she's going to evade both of those. Okay. All right. God, that sucks. I hit, I had manual firing selected. Okay, bring it up to eight knots. Let's get out of here. Time to skedaddle. Jeez. Okay, and we've been hit. One hit. Sub is out of commission. Nothing you can do. The compartment is completely blacked out. So we have no integrity there. We can't move. Uh, we'll just uh, let them depth charge our sub. Guess we can surface. Yeah, emergency blow. Wow, well, more hits. Let's use some time compression. I kind of wanted to slug it out with my deck guns, but looks like we're just going to let them depth charge us. Unfortunately, when you take a depth charge hit, like, there's no, it's not variable. It's just either the compartment's blacked out. There we go, another one. Our sub should be dead. There we go. All right, that's, oh cool, and now they're going to collide. <laughs> oh, they stopped. All right, let's go ahead and leave, confirm. This one had minor damage, this minor flooding, what the hell? Okay, well that's another sub lost, unfortunately. Type B2 class. Oh well, what a shame. Okay, two enemy subs spotted just off of Guadalcanal. Let's send those valves in. I was working on. I was about to start scrambling all of our aircraft. Let's get a couple of scouts up. 
Haruna. Launch aircraft. Have one just head down here and start looking. There was another destroyer flotilla in the area, so I do want to try to hit that. These two subs seem to be operating together. Let's go to tactical and start. And what's our altitude? 500 meters. I, I don't... Let's go up to one kilometer so we can dive bomb. There are the enemy subs. Start climbing up. Okay, closing in on one kilometer. And we will attack number two in line here. Doesn't look like they are diving just yet. Okay, go ahead and order them to attack. It'll be nice to trade a sub for a sub. Okay, closing in. I'm sure they're about to open fire. Indeed, they are. They're Wow, they're standing and fighting? Their dive planes are not down? Are you serious? What about this one? This one has his dive planes down. This one's staying up. Wow. And two valves are damaged. Three valves are damaged. Come on, just get your bombs away. There we go. Bombs away. Ooh, ouch. Two bomb hits. Uh, that, that'll, that'll do it. We'll see. Hopefully that ends up sinking this enemy submarine. It looks like she is submerging quite quickly. And I guess number one did dive as well. Use some, there we go. One sub sinking. That makes me feel uh, not as bad about losing one of ours. We just sunk one of theirs. How about that? Okay, let's go ahead and leave. Confirm. 2,000 tons sunk, two command points gained. Let's go ahead and RTB with our valves and really get our scouting all set up. Um, I'm wanting to start doing that now. Okay, look what we have here. Four destroyers, two light cruisers, one heavy cruiser, and one enemy carrier. Care Div 5 has its first engagement. Let's see, Task Force 6 is almost at Rabal. I Hmm, this is, this is interesting. Well, we are obviously going to launch a full strike. Our subs are going to head down here. And we are going to have a, like a second battle of the Coral Sea coming right up. I hope you're all excited for that, because I am. I was not expecting to see the other carrier so soon. Wow. Okay, well, that'll do it for today, then. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I know it was a lot of uh, really tidying up, a lot of, you know, nothing too exciting, really, but... Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all later.